Good morning, USA. Or shall I say, hey, people, as you may have seen my 10 reasons why Homer Simpson should be arrested hit 5,000 views, I hereby present to you the 10 reasons why American Dad Stan Smith should be arrested. See my Homer Simpson video another 5,000 times, and I will release the one about Peter Griffin, which I'm not entirely sure when it will be uploaded. Anticipated to be sometime in late 2024 or 2025, 2026, whenever. Anyway, let's just, just get started. Number 10, became addicted to crack. Crack is clearly an illicit drug. Stan mistakes it as a medicine in the episode A Jones for a Smith, season five, episode 11, and becomes addicted to crack. Roger tells him that he was doing crack, which Stan realizes in shock that the CIA agent should not be smoking crack. This act causes his family problems. Francie's card getting rejected for insufficient funds, as well as her necklace missing and the TV being gone. Number nine, burglary. In the same episode, due to Stan's crack addiction, he mindlessly ends up breaking into a house of two gay men, Greg and Terry, who are also news anchors and Stan's neighbor, and stealing. And to further exacerbate this whole situation, when the police arrive, he then holds the two guys hostage with a gun. Number eight, running a sweatshop. In the episode American Dream Factory, season two, episode 11, Stan Smith decides to follow his American dream by running his own sweatshop, making his holiday bears. He has paid his workers significantly below the wage floor. Perhaps the workers were actually illegal immigrants. He has also provided no employment benefits to these workers, who later demand to be paid minimum wage. Number 7, False Imprisonment. In the episode Homeland Insecurity, Season 1, Episode 6, when Stan was supposed to apologize to his Iranian neighbors, Bob and Linda, he genuinely says, sorry that they are terrorists, and he imprisons them in his backyard. Francine tries to make Stan free them, but Stan refuses to and then finds it amusing when Linda r ran towards the electric fence. Number six, animal cruelty. Take this for example, in season 14, episode 18, No Weddings and a Funeral, Stan intentionally drops Klaus down the disposal, trying to kill him. Number five, kidnapping. In the episode Surrogate, season three, episode seven, Stan takes his homophobia on a whole new level. It's no surprise that Greg and Terry, the gay male couple, have been Stan's target. At first, he kidnaps their surrogate child. Later, he was taken refuge at a farm which is owned by a lesbian couple with children. And to further exacerbate his homophobia, Stan manages to kidnap the children of the lesbian couple. And he gets his comeuppance when the gay couples file a restraining order against him, spend time at the park with each other, their children, and his wife Francine, yet allow Stan at the park as well as long as he's remained distanced from the gay couples. Number 4, Spousal Abuse. This occurs in multiple episodes. Take Season 7, Episode 2, Hurricane, for example, at the end of the episode where there's a cartoon crossover, Stan from American Dad meets Cleveland Brown from The Cleveland Show, and they threaten to shoot each other, and then meets Peter Griffin from Family Guy, who is stupid enough to not recognize his friendship with Cleveland, holding them both at gunpoint, and once Francine steps out, Stan inadvertently shoots her in the arm. In the episode Stan of Arabia, Season 1, Episodes 12 and 13, well, more relevant in episode 13, the second part, Francine demands Stan to get them back to the States, but Stan refuses to by reminding Francine that only men have a say. Luckily, Roger's husband in the episode makes the call to the judge to release the Smith family back to the States at the time the Smiths were are being sentenced to death by stoning. Number three, death threatening. In the episode, Stan Knows Best, Season 1, Episode 3, Haley dyes her hair green, but Stan demands her to wash it off, threatening her with a gun. Also in Season 7, Episode 2 at the Cartoon Crossover, he is seen threatening Cleveland Brown with a gun. Number 2, Child Abuse. In the episode, Bully for Steve, Season 5, Episode 16, 
we come across an instance of a father bullying his own son. Steve is being bullied, but Stan attempts to toughen him up by being the bully himself. Stan hazes Steve to the concrete sidewalk, demanding him money, pushing him off his bike, steals it, throws coffee directly into his face, and makes sure mom jokes to make him feel humiliated. Frankly, Stan gets a sour taste of his own medicine when he comes across Stelio Contos, his childhood bully who now works at Klinko's and gets a huge beating from him. Lesson learned for bullying his own son. Number one, murder. This occurs during multiple episodes. One example, season seven, episode seven, season's beatings. Stan kills a blind someone's guard dog. And also in season eight, episode 16, The Boring Identity, Stan takes complicity with Avery, Dick, and Sanders into breaking into Doug and Busters and rampaging the place on a mission to kill Osama bin Laden. They kill the workers as well at Doug and Buster's. Yeah, sure, Osama bin Laden deserved death, but what did the workers in the episode ever do? That pretty much summed it up. And sorry for the delay, I have been very busy over time and I had a lot going on. Anyways, if there's anything I left out throughout this video, please write it in the comments as I'll personally be reading them. Also, for more great content on the Master Rainy channel, hit subscribe and ring the bell to be alerted for the release of the 72nd video of the Master Rainy channel. Now as always, this is Master Rainy now signing off. I will see you next time.